guys welcome back to the channel and if you're new welcome to my channel today we have more of the declutter series for you tuna wants to say hi of course so today we're gonna be tackling two places we're gonna be tackling the broom cupboard if you would like to call it that um, I don't know what else to call it it's in our laundry room and we put basically our brooms mops Swiffer stuff, bags, you know, all that stuff in there. I don't know how much we're going to get out of that area for decluttering wise, but it definitely needs to be kind of more organized. I do want to get one of those things you can mount to the wall to put and like hook those things up. Um, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know what they're called, but they're specifically for like brooms and mops and you can just kind of put it on the wall so it like holds it. And then we're gonna tackle the coffee station. So we're just gonna kind of go through the items in there, make sure nothing's expired. And then I got like a new tea organizer thing that I'll show you. And then also mugs. I'm probably gonna take down all my mugs and kind of figure out how I want to do those. Cause I have a lot of seasonal mugs and I'm obsessed with mugs. You'll probably see once I get them all down. Um, so I think I might store them with it, their particular season. I'm not sure how I want to do that yet. I did before have them in a whole tote all together and then I just go through them every season um, when I'd switch the mugs out but I don't know if I kind of want to put them with their decor totes. So I'm going to think on that and we'll come up with a solution together and you'll see how the end result comes out. So I hope this brings you guys some motivation to get a certain area in your house done. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as it helps the channel. Um, if you have any questions, also leave those in the comments below. I love talking to you guys. And yeah, so let's get started. All right, so I totally forgot that I have laundry going, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, so this is the broom cupboard I'm talking about. So everything's just kind of thrown in there, which I don't like. Um, and then on the other side here is our pantry, so they're just right next to each other. So we're gonna kind of take everything out, kind of clean it out. There's like a bunch of like hooks and nails in here that just have no rhyme or reason. I mean, right now it's helpful. Um, and then this is like an ironing, um, an iron holder and like an ironing board holder, which I'm probably gonna take out also because I wanna get one of those other things I was talking about previously. Um, so we're gonna take pretty much everything out and go through the items and then kind of take some of these hooks and stuff out up here there is a safe there's nothing in there and we don't know how to get it out of that area <laughs> like it is stuck to the shelf or something we have no idea or it's just like mounted on there um it was there since we've moved um so we're not sure but on the side of there is some uh, light bulbs and i think some like swiffer dusters or something but that is what we are working with again sorry about the washing machine and the dryer going but yeah so i'm gonna film everything being taken out and then we'll go through the items
All right, so we have finished, and it didn't take long at all. Um, again, I didn't really get rid of much, which I'll show you in a minute, but just this little reorganization reorgan helped a lot um, to really kind of fix the mess. So we'll start on the bottom. So I have basically all our brooms and mops and stuff right here. Um, this one way in the back that's like a standard broom that one i like for the porches and then um this one is for inside and then we have a bona and a swiffer which is definitely useful for having a puppy and then uh what is it called fire extinguisher this i am probably gonna eventually get rid of it's just an ironing board but i want one of the like tabletop ones that you can just tuck and fold away um that I could just put on the washing machine and iron on that or something. I don't know. Just let, if you guys have one of those, let me know what you think of them and if it's worth it. Um, I don't do a lot of ironing and I don't even remember the last time I've used it. It's probably when Matt was still in the military. I have no idea. Um, and then down here we just have two buckets and then extra bonus solution the Swiffer wand and then some grippy stuff for underneath carpets and whatnot. Uh, so that's what that's looking like. And then I have some bags. I limit it to this. And then I bring any excess to work and I recycle them there. This little holder is a loofah holder. So like if you buy the loofahs from like TG Maxx or Marshalls, um, they come in this little pouch thing and I use them to hold the bags. So if you want to reuse that somehow that is how i reuse mine um and then we have just a dustpan and broom and then my little other duster there and then up here i just put the light bulbs and then again i tried lifting this thing out of here the safe and I, it won't budge so i have no idea so it's gonna stay there now let me show you what we are getting rid of so this was the old one that lost its like little hook um so i'm gonna toss that this duster I'm going to bring to work because we could definitely use that for work. And then um, just packaging. So I had the Swiffer dusters in there also, but I moved them. Let me walk over here. Underneath the sink right here. So I have those right there instead of in that broom cupboard. So, yeah. All right, we finished one task. Now time to move on to the next. All right, so this is what I like to call our coffee station. These hooks here I got at Target Dollar Spot and I wish I grabbed two. And I'm just still figuring out this area because it's kind of plain. And also my husband didn't put it in the place I wanted it. I kind of wanted it to the side a little bit more, um, but that's okay. I do have like a wood one in it, a wood kind of shelf with hooks that I might put up here, but I'm not sure it will kind of go, but we'll see. So yeah, this is what it's looking right now. We have the Ninja coffee maker. We have some K-cups that I need to fill. Um, I got this little bunny from my work that I put K-cups in. This is from the Dollar Tree that I put a stirs in. I get the wood stirs. And then this is from the Target Dollar Spot. This is a little sugar container thing. And then we just keep cinnamon on the side. But the main issue is this cabinet. So I have some mugs in here already, but I do want to go through all of them, which that is not even all of them. Um, and then we have this little basket that has like hot cocoa and um, extra K-cups. And then we have a bunch of tea and other stuff down there. And then some gadgets and the toaster, and that's all dirty. So we're going to have to clean that out. So we're going to go through this, um, and I'm probably going to gather all my mugs up so we can kind of go through them together and figure out how we're going to store them. Hopefully you guys are getting tons of motivation. I'm certainly happy I'm getting this done finally, as it's been bugging me for so long. So let's get started.
All right, so I finished kind of going through the cabinet, but before I show you what the cabinet's looking like, we need to go through my mugs. Now, this isn't even all of them. <laughs> I have all these mugs up here that I need to take down. So I'm gonna pull those out and I kind of have categories right here for the mugs right now. So we're gonna grab those down and then kind of declutter some, hopefully. I don't know, mugs are very hard to get rid of for me because I love mugs, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So let's work on that and then I will show you what we're working with. I knew I wasn't gonna get rid of a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do, since I do have so many mugs, is put them with their rightful season or holiday, if that makes sense. So that's kinda, I kinda wrapped them all up and put them in a tote all together, whatever ones I wasn't using. Um, but I think I might put them with the particular season or holiday with the decor I have upstairs in the storage room. I think I might do it that way. That way when I do bring down the decor that I'm, you know, decorating for, I can easily access them and put them where I want. Um, but let me show you what we have. Um, so up here, fall is my favorite. Now I'm very surprised I don't have more than this. Who knows what I'll get this year. So we have some Halloween mugs here. This one, the cat one, and then some fall related ones. So. I have three fall related ones and then back here is our spring slash summer so we have like a bumblebee one this one I just got recently at a store which I think I showed you guys in one of the videos I recently did my mom got me this and then we've got this one the cat this one's one of my favorite mugs and then we have Christmas mugs. Now these are already done and I got um, together on purpose for the mug holder, like the black one I showed you that's up on the wall right now, but it's like wood and I might bring that down instead and put these, well not now and put the mugs on it, but I there's four hooks and I got these mugs someone was selling on Facebook Marketplace. Um, oh and I styled them on the shelf. And then I have some winter ones, so I have this one and this one as well. And then, so those are more Christmas mugs, more like decorative, not Ray Dunn styled mugs. I have this one also with a little deer on it. And then these are Valentine's Day mugs. I have the Meow Chicka Meow Meow. Me and my mom have the same, mug, uh, same one. And then this one, and then I have Love is Brewing and then this heart one. And then in this pile is kind of like our everyday, no season or holiday oriented mugs. So this one actually just got Matt. He loves Red Sox, so I got that one. The season starting up again, so I got him this one. And then I, of course, have this one because I have a few Harry Potter ones, so I have that one that I actually got for Christmas this year. I have a Happy Hubby one and then a Happy Wifey one, which I think my mom got me got me and Matt those. This is one of those um, Harry Potter mugs that changes when it's hot. This is a Pokemon one that changes when it's hot. This one my husband got when we went to a Renaissance fair. And then this is just one my mom made with some pictures of Clovis and me and Matt. 
And then we have this Rise and Shine one, which I'd probably put more towards like our summer and spring, I guess. So, and then I did get rid of three mugs, which is a lot for me. Um, I was debating on keeping this one. It's actually really cool. It is copper and it's from um, United by Blue. It's, uh, there's uh, etched trees in it, which you can't really see. Um, and then this one has a chip in it and then this one has like a stain on the lip. So I was like, you know what? They're damaged. So we're going to donate those. And um, the, this next season coming up, who knows, I'll most likely get more mugs. So it's going to be okay. And I also, going through the cabinet, I'm going to see if my husband still wants this. Uh, we have not used it once. So we'll see if he still wants it. And then I got a new tea holder, like organizer, as you saw. So I'm going to get, oh, well, I'm going to consign my old, old um, one. But yeah, that's the progress we're making now. So I'm going to put some of the spring mugs so i'm gonna pick well i'm gonna grab the spring ones and then i'm gonna put some of these in there not all of them but i'm gonna pick a select few and i also forgot i have mugs up here this rise and shine one and see the good from um target so i keep those up there i keep more neutral ones but depending on the season i'll put like spring ones up there probably but yeah i also have those and i do have some that are dirty currently so this is not all of the mugs <laughs> uh if you can believe that but yeah so we're gonna put some in the cabinet and then i'll show you what the cabinet is looking like are you guys ready to see this i am so excited to show you guys it looks so much better all right so this is the final result you guys and this wasn't even a lot of work and I didn't even do much changing. Like I just kind of organized it more. I got a new like holder here for our tea. I kind of organized our mugs and that's it. And it looks so much more put together. It's crazy. So as you saw, we got this beautiful tea holder and then there's a tea sampler box in the back, which I believe my mom got me. Um, we have the honey and then those are our extra wooden um, uh, coffee stirs. I have those and they're very cheap. So, and then we have one bag of ground coffee. It's just a house blend from I think Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. Yeah. Um, and then, so this basket, so I put the hot chocolate, these carnation breakfast essential things in there those are reusable k cups and then the liners to go with it and then i also put the coffee pot liners in this as well just to kind of give them a spot and then i picked what mugs i wanted out so on this side is kind of like my husband's mugs and then everyday mugs and then also harry potter and then this is kind of like our, our spring side so like the seasonal mugs that if i want to use one of those and then down here we have some appliances so that is just um a water kettle um i haven't used it in a while i don't know if i'm going to but if i don't use it within this year then i'll probably declutter that also and along with the frother so since we got our new ninja coffee maker i don't really need this one because it has one attached to the coffee maker um and then back here is just um a blender and then we have our toaster so that is what that is looking like very simple everything we use and need is in here it looks amazing let me know what you guys think because i am very happy with how it came out and then i am going to wrap all these up in some paper and store them away for when i need to use them and then this is the stuff we are going to be either consigning or donating and this is all the packaging i got rid of which is crazy so that's a bunch of um, recycle and not to mention I cleared that top cabinet so I have two spaces available 
So that is it. We tackled the two places I really wanted to get to today and I couldn't be happier. It was very small areas and I still managed to get them under control with very little effort. Um, you guys just use what you have around the house first to see what you actually need. Like the broom cupboard, I do want to get one of those wall things, but it's not an emergency. I don't really need it, obviously. Um, it looks just fine. Everything in that cupboard we need. That is that. And then also the the coffee area it was just full of boxes and like packaging and stuff that we didn't really use or just stuff that needed to be moved in a better uh needed to be organized in a better way that is more functional and practical for how we use this area and it looks so much better now when everything's visible and clean and organized so if you enjoy this video please make sure you give this video a thumbs up also subscribe if you have not yet as i would love to grow this youtube family of ours i enjoy talking to you guys so let me know if you guys have any spring plans coming up i'd love to hear and i will see you guys in the next video bye you guys